Cross it! Hey everybody, Dr. O here. Welcome to the appendicular skeleton. So we covered the axial skeleton, which is the, the core axis of your body there. Now we're going to look at the appendicular skeleton. This is 126 bones. It's going to be your appendages, like the name imply, your arms and legs, plus the bones that attach your limbs onto the axial skeleton. So that's going to be your pectoral girdle and your pelvic girdle. So let's go ahead and take a look here just real quickly. I'll cover all these, but uh, the pectoral girdle makes up is the clavicle and the scapula. Then you have the humerus, radius, and ulna going down the arm, your seven carpal bones, and then we have the metacarpal and metacarpal bones in the hand and the phalanges. Then we have the pelvic girdle, which is going to be your coxal bone or your ilium, ischium, and pubis, which is what I call them. The pelvic girdle plus the femur, the patella or kneecap, tibia, fibula, your seven tarsal bones, your metatarsal bones, and phalanges in each foot. So yes, there are 126 bones here, but uh, what, 56 of them alone are phalanges, 14 in each hand, 14 in each foot. Then you've got 20, you're just going to be your metatarsals and metacarpals. So they add up pretty quickly. There's not, there's not too many to learn here. So this is your appendicular skeleton. The key to remember is it's your appendages, your limbs, plus those girdles that, hold, that attach those bones on. So the clavicle, scapula, ilium, ischium, and pubis are part of your appendicular skeleton, even though they are not part of your appendages, not part of your limbs. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. Hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.